Okay, more questions by Cindy Fitzgerald. She has really good questions. Okay, got another question. Do we really all have auras? Uh, yes, absolutely. You have more auras than you can possibly imagine. And more layers than you can imagine. And way more than what anybody can use a camera and take a picture of. Or what normally I hear of people reporting on. So you have people who see auras only see what they can see through their human eyes. And if you had more of a spectrum, you could see that there are many more. That's part of my problem, is I can see them all. And it goes, to me, everything about you is an aura, because everything is energy. So you may re believe that this physical body of yours is more uh, <clears throat> hard, more physical, more real than what other people would report your auras to be that are out and around you. But to me, they're all the same. To me, they're all valid. To me, they're all energy-based. So I have, I have a real problem with depth perception because of that, because I can see all of a being or a thing all the way out, all the way in. So it m makes it hard to know, well, where is the physical part that you people believe is the hard part so i misjudge things like it's hard to walk that's why i don't like walking uh, i'd rather fly it's much easier to do all that whenever you fly um it and walking makes it really difficult because you have to get it right when you make a step but yeah everybody everything has auras not just everyone everything has auras okay so she also said and are the orbs really loved ones? Loved ones? Orbs? They say that orbs are loved ones? Or other ones around us? Or actually, what are orbs? Okay. What are orbs is an easier question. Um, orbs can be a lot of things, really. Uh, the majority of orbs around most people, though, are fairies. Uh, a lot of orbs are fairies. Uh, <laughs> a lot of orbs are fairies. But they can also be 4D uh, beings that are trying to win you over to the 4D pigeons. They're, they're always, orbs are always, if they're, if they're um, 4D characters, they're always pigeons. They're always pigeons. They're trying to be angelic or... Oh, I don't know. Um, like, if you get one of them around you that you're special in some way, um, anything that's, any orb that is playing into that game, that game where if you've got an orb around you, then you're special, that's definitely 4D Pigeon Gaming. Because nobody's more special than anybody else. And nobody is further along in anything than anybody else. Except from the perspective of a 4D being <laughs> than you are. But in reality of all that is, no, nobody's better than anybody else. There is no further along to get to because there's no real time and space. There's no beginning or end. There's just experience. So any of the orbs that they say are, are like those kind of orbs, uh, yeah, I wouldn't know because I don't have them around me. I tell them to get away. They tried that way way early after I died and I recognized them right off and told them to get the F out of my life I wanted nothing to do with them I don't play that game but I've, I've never known of an or being a loved one though uh, I wouldn't see the point uh, anything's possible I guess but hold on let me do a scan Well, you know, I, maybe I just don't know the vibration of it, but I certainly don't see that, and I don't know why they would, why a loved one would be an orb. A, a loved one, if they're trying to make their presence known and physical, they will do something that will re, that will trigger you to know that it's them. If they collect pennies, you'll find pennies all the, all the time. If they love their roses, you'll 
You'll find rose petals everywhere. I mean, it's very much connected to who you and they were. Um, if they wore a certain scent, then you'll smell that scent repeatedly at the oddest times. That's loved ones. That's what loved ones do. That's the kind of stuff they do. I, I don't know why they would be an orb because you'd be confused. Who is that? You wouldn't know who it was, so what would be the point? If they're trying to contact you, they're going to want to contact you. They're not going to want to just fly around as an orb. I'm sure that most people think that orbs are like cool, but in from my perspective, anybody can become an orb. Just have to change your frequency. I could be an orb, but what would be the point? I mean, we just don't do things randomly for no reason. There, there, there's got to be a reason for it. So, as a general rule, uh, for regular people that aren't caught up in pigeon land, um, definitely the the orbs are more than likely fairies messing with you. Okay, yeah. Let's see. And what are orbs? And and are they? Some of them really have faces in them. Oh yes, definitely. If it's a if it's a fairy and you're focused on it, it will definitely they could definitely create faces. <laughs> Cause fairies are cute that way. Anything to mess with you, especially a face that's gonna make you jump. It'll, it'll make you scared, like jump all of a sudden. Yeah, they love that. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's all the questions on that one. So I'll end this video. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to title it, but I'll come up with something. Love you guys. Huge hugs. And I'll see you later. Oh, by the way, thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't. Thank you for your support. Everybody on the website, Patreon. Um, yeah, everything. PayPal, whatever. Thank you so much for you guys' support. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Huge hugs. Bye-bye now.